On today's Spicy Kiss Review, another flavor of Cheetos from Japan that you knew I had to get for science. We got some Cheetos extremely hot. Yeah, Frito-Lay Japan, Cheetos extremely hot, but really, will they be extremely hot? Uh, doesn't look like they're the same thing as the Flamin' Hot Cheetos we have here in the States. We also have the XX Flamin' Hot version these days. Uh, Flamin' Hot version, you see it's more red in color. This one just looks like your straight up uh, Cheetos orangey color. But one thing of note is this right down here. It's a different, uh, something different here. I had to look it up. Frito-Lay Japan apparently also makes habanero pepper puff rings. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have had that out there, but it looked pretty interesting. But anyway, let's break this open for science. It smells like it's gone through the, the whole soy sauce thing as well for whatever reason. It definitely has this Asian-like sweet umami kind of smell to it. I have no idea why. But this is what the Cheetos Japan uh, extremely hot chip looks like. Again, I have no idea why it has that kind of sweet, umami, savory uh, smell to it. It certainly doesn't remind me of anything extremely hot, that's for sure. I'm kind of thrown for a loop here, as you can see. But let's try this. Okay, there we go. I was about to say I was disappointed, but then you give it about four or five seconds, and finally that some kind of a heat just starts to creep in. Some of it is on the tongue, some of it is on the side of the mouth, roof of the mouth. It actually coats around the area where you, where you bite down fairly well. It has a little bit of that cheesy aspect still going on in there. It is definitely different than our Flamin' Hot Cheetos, that's for sure. I'm intrigued, so I'm going to try another one. Yeah, it just starts off as more of a a sweet, almost teriyaki-like uh, taste to it. But then, you know, you give it three or four seconds, as I said, and then all that heat just starts nicely coating around where you've been biting and chewing. The, the heat, as far as I'm concerned, I would give it somewhere around a two or a three out of ten. It's definitely noticeable. Uh, Non-chili heads will probably say it's more like a six or six and a half, perhaps. Uh, it's it's going to get you. If you keep eating this, it will eventually catch up to you. So in that respect, Cheetos, you deliver. By the end of the experience, it's going to taste just like a, a regular Cheetos Crunchy, but uh, with a little more heat added to it. I'm still throwing a little bit for a loop at the, the sweet savoriness at the start and on the smell. Uh, some people probably find it off-putting. I just think it's you know, unique. For all, you know, all, for all I know, it's just unique. It's nothing offensive. Uh, I'd give this, I'd give this a solid four, possibly even a high four out of five. It delivers what it's supposed to, what it's supposed to bring. And initially, I thought it was going to be in thinking it's going to be a dud. But you know, Cheetos, you actually did pretty well. Free to lay Japan, you did pretty well on this. Free to lay Japan, I wanted extremely hot Cheetos though. I want extremely hot Cheetos, so I'm going to have to improvise. We're going to get some Trinidad Maruga Scorpion sauce on this. Adobo Loco, I'm glad you came to the rescue on this one. This is the Maui Nokaoi Trinidad Maruga Scorpion sauce. It was part of their, their Kickstarter a while back. Yes, Tim, I still got this sauce. And I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I'm probably just going to... Be very, uh, be very messy on this one because I kept the drip stop on this guy and obviously there I just made a mess. So without making any further of a mess, here we go. This works really well. The vinegar on here, the peppers, the fruitiness, everything just works with this whatever the sweet savoriness is on this, on this chip. Around this cheese puff. The cheesiness itself, whatever fake cheese you use. And this somehow works. I'm pretty happy with this one. I just thought this one up. Didn't really give too much thought to it. But yes, Tim, I still got this sauce, and it's still really, really good. 
Maybe we're gonna have to give an encore run of this, huh? So would you try this Cheetos Extremely Hot for Science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for this Spicy Kiss review, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.